In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build this nine box matrix. These are commonly used in talent management and HR to map a company's workforce along two dimensions, potential and performance. Each of these two dimensions is split up into three categories, low, medium, and high, depending on the score for each employee. Performance is then plotted horizontally and potential is plotted vertically. From there, we plot each employee onto the graph. From there, we summarize the number of employees that fall within each box. Let's see how we build it. I've gone ahead and connected to a data set that has my employee IDs and each of their performance and potential ratings. Go to a sheet. Notice how Tableau has automatically brought in performance and potential as measures. Now, I don't want those to be measures. I don't want to take the average performance or the average potential because I want to look at each of those independently. So I'm going to grab both of those and I'm going to drag them up to the dimensions area. But I want them to still be continuous because I want an axis for either of those. So click on both of them, right click and convert to continuous. Now we need to take each of those dimensions and split them up into those three buckets, low, medium, and high. Let's create a new calculated field. Let's call this one performance category. My calculation is just going to be a simple if statement. If the performance is less than or equal to three, then I want to classify those employees as low performers. Else if performance is less than or equal to seven, then I'm going to classify those as medium performers. Otherwise, if they're above a seven, we're going to classify those as high performers and then close it off with an end. Click on OK. Let's duplicate that calculation and we're going to repeat the same thing for the potential. Edit the copy. I'm going to rename it as potential category. And all I need to do is swap out the dimension that is in the if statement. Drag potential on top of performance to replace it and then do it again in the second line of the if statement. Click on OK. So now we have the categories for our nine boxes. Drag performance category to the columns and potential category to the rows. And you'll see so far we've got nine boxes. But we want to split up each of the categories by the individual scores. Drag performance to the right of performance category on the columns. Drag potential to the right of potential category on the rows. And you'll see we start getting some marks in the view. Right click and drag employee ID to the size shelf and choose count distinct of employee because we only want to count each employee one time. Click on OK. And now we start to see the concentration of the employees in each of these categories. Change the mark type to a circle and then pick a color you want if you don't like the blue. I'm going to choose a purple. Now it's a bit of formatting and reorganizing the view. The first thing I notice is that in my potential categories, the order says high, low, and medium. Well, medium should be above low. And on our performance category, we want high on the right-hand side. So I'm gonna drag high to the right of medium. The next thing we need to do is bring all of the dots closer together. And we're gonna do that by editing each of the axes. Right-click on the potential axis and choose edit axis. And then set the axis to independent. Right-click on the performance axis and choose edit axis. And again, choose independent axis. If there happens to be a box on the upper right-hand side that says include zero and it's checked, make sure you uncheck that box as well. Close that window. Click on the size shelf and adjust the sizes until you see the concentrations that you like. From here, let's right-click on the header for the potential category and rotate the label. Right click on the axis again and choose edit axis. I probably should have done this in the other step where I set it to independent. I'm gonna remove the title. Same thing on the performance axis. I'm gonna edit the axis and remove performance and remove the title. When I hover over the marks, notice how the number format has several decimal places. Let's fix that. I'm gonna highlight both performance and potential Right click, go to default properties, and then number format. 
I'm going to choose Number Custom and set the decimal places to zero. Click on OK. And now we can see medium performers that have a performance rating of five and a potential of five, there's 10 employees. We have one employee that has a potential of 10 and a performance of nine. So we've got a really, really high performer there. And now I'm just going to do a bit more cleanup. I'm going to right click on the field label for my columns and choose format. And I'm going to make it a bigger font just so it's a bit easier to read. And same thing with the performance category. In this case, it looks like it automatically changed. If it doesn't, go ahead and change it manually. I'm going to make it a bit bigger so that the label fits. I think these look best when they're a nice square because it's nine boxes. I'm going to go over to a dashboard and I'm just going to create a dashboard that's, let's say, 900 by 900. And I'm doing that because there's nine boxes. No other reason. I'm going to drag my sheet into the view and I'm going to remove this container on the right hand side. The size is implicit. Remove that from the dashboard and click on delete containers. Double click on our title to change our title. We want to call this employee performance versus potential. Let's make that a nice big font and click on OK. And there we go. We have our nine box grid. Thanks for watching.